That concludes the speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. <clears throat> we now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives and have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Look. Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further, if I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. You gonna report us? I hope you understand the situation you're in. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the Phantom Thieves. And it'll happen every day, even at school. Why did this happen? There is no choice. That may have been true, but still. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? Believe in me. I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. I feel bad about what we've done to the chief. I'm responsible too. Did you see that reward? <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. With this, the Phantom Thieves have become public enemy number one. <laughs> exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. I can't believe how big the bounty is. We should look for the fan thieves ourselves. I guess you suggest they go to the school, right? Yeah, but let's not. There's been too many mental shutdowns as it is. It'll probably be the end of us if we start sniffing around now. But 30 million yen, man. Let us dream a little. That is quite a lot of yen. Oh, oh. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum. Yo, you see the news? I had to brace myself for the possibility. Actually, having a wanted notice out for us kind of feels weird. I'm not sure we're gonna get away with the get away this time. Our backs are truly against the wall now. Discussing it here won't do any, us any good though. Let us talk more in person. Bum 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 bum. We're wanted now, and the reward's thirty million yen. What is this? A comic book? It feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. They are finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what-ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Medjed. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah, the enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No, because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kanashiro cases were coincidental. Wasn't that the case with Kamashita too? Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap? It's nothing of the sort. There's the fake Medjad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. 
How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. All I could think about was my fiancé. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly... Haru? It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kabayakawa died. Damn it! This is bullshit! God! Fuck! Ryuji! Taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone! Hey, what do you think? Why did we lose? What did we do wrong? They baited us. It's probably because we weren't acting like ourselves. Agreed. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. Yeah, that really is it. I was so caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot! I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults! To think we had begun clinging onto fame and a place to belong that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves, but we lost sight of our original cause. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto. Damn it! I know that we've been set up, and that I was a complete idiot too! But still, it's so damn frustrating! Of course I want to do something about this! Yeah, we'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against, and whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power, or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Are we really a match for this? Should we end this now? I mean, things might get worse for everyone. Hey, what should we do? We haven't lost yet. Yeah, running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. That's the same as dumping our aesthetics again, because we only care about our hides. I see. I take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. Absolutely not like this. Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Hey, it's me. Um, about me yelling earlier. Being framed and added and the outed bounty, it all felt like such bullshit. I lost it. I'm sorry. Hey, I know how you feel. You do? It... It is confusing. We're wanted criminals now. Maybe I haven't changed at all since the time we went up against Kamoshida. I wanted to be the Phantom Thief because I thought even someone like me could be a hero. It made me so happy to, to be dependent on. Guess it all went straight to my head. I thought I could do anything if it was just for justice, but that would make me no different from our targets. I called them shitbags, but I must be the biggest shitty, be the shittiest of shitbags. I can't even joke about it. Things will turn around. <laughs> Ship, you're right. I can start by changing who I am now. Thanks, Ship. I feel like I can think straight now. Oh, I scared Harun for Tabit, didn't I? I'll have to apologize to them soon. See ya. <laughs> I got a message from a Ketchikun. He wants us to gather at LeBlanc tomorrow for after school. Who does he think he is trying to boss us around like that? Tomorrow? That's sudden. This is directly after a reward announcement. There must be a calculated reason to for this too. We'll be okay, right? We'll manage. Yeah, we're gonna overcome this together. Regardless, I don't want anyone disturbing our pace anymore. Let's go about this calmly. Well, see you all tomorrow. We reached our cru crucial moment. There's no point in fretting about it now. Let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. Sounds good to me. 
We can't let things end here. We need to figure out who's behind everything. <sighs> All right. Well, um, let's uh, let's meet up with Ketchy tomorrow. Bum 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 bum. <sighs> oh boy, a lot of story, man. A lot of story. An issue in which criminals do whatever they want under the name of justice cannot be left alone. Only now does the government speak of taking countermeasures. But their actions are too little, too late. The government as it stands has been left behind the times. It is obsolete. If this is a ship that's bound to a rotting dock and destined to sink, we might as well destroy it once. Let us end this chaos through my hands and yours. He's a politician of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Politics just never interested me before. But this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? Quit effing around! Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to Sai-san's actions. I assume all of you are at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it! I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in sai -san. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Huh? Really? Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change her heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? You saying the police would do such a thing? It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! They're completely rotten! My objective is to find the true culprit. However, the current situation Sorry about is that. extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Our only solution to this is to make Sai-san come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why... The truth will be covered up. And an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand for it. I mean... I guess I can understand how you feel. And changing Sai-san's heart will be to protect her as well. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. 
There is also one more merit in changing Sai San's heart. It will become a warning to not mess with us. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. <sighs> what do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. Makoto, what's your take on all this? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge. And extremely personal. Dude. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? True. Yeah, like how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai-san's heart? We will. Thanks. <laughs> I was actually rather worried there. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. Mako-chan. I'm okay. I never brought it up until now, but the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping it had never come to pass, though. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Why didn't you tell us? It was too selfish of a reason. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me, so I'd like to get myself accustomed to it too. I I'm sorry, I actually have plans today. I see. That's unfortunate. Will you tell your sister about this? Of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day then, and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? This is about her sister. Well, I guess that can't be helped. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. Thieves targeted me as per his advice? And he had already experienced the metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although, his attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi couldn't kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a phantom thief? If this is all true, I'm appalled as the commander of this operation. I alone was kept in the dark. So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? That's right. That does make sense, more or less. If you simply wanted to evade capture, triggering my change of heart wouldn't guarantee anything. Your actions as phantom thieves would still be met with hostility. 
No. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? <laughs> Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Hey! You need to keep your focus. It seems you're completely worn out. But the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? I haven't lost yet. I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No. Most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. Sai is slowly starting to accept the truth. I feel like my bond with Sai is growing deeper. What do we get? Level 6? Hey, level 6. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. All right. No, I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something I need to confirm with you. Was a change of heart triggered in me? What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. The summary of the story has been... Jesus, Mary and Joseph. The summary of the story up to this point has been updated. To read, press the... Yeah, whatever. <sighs> Alright, I think that's where we're going to end it. Oh, maybe not. What's this favor you need? It's late already. We'll be going to Nijima's palace. So I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. A girl shouldn't say things like that. You tell her too. What else can you dig up? Well, like her history with men. You're phantom thieves. Ahem. Also, I may be overthinking it, but my voice... Ow! Same as always. Let me finish first! <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. Well, I guess we're not ending the part right now. Uh, <laughs> um, we're gonna wait till uh, this day's done, I guess. Whoa, almost fell down. I'm kneeling right now because I'm tired of sitting in that chair. Where are we meeting today? Oh, right, we we're never told where to meet up. At the courthouse. Where's that? Hint, the government office district. I am not pronouncing that. Indeed. Oh, I've heard of that place. Never been there, though. Me neither. It's not somewhere normal people usually go. Whoa, just looking at the map is impressive. The police department, Ministry of Justice, Public Prosecutor's Office, and Public Security. The Diet Building is right near there too. For real? What kind of scary, scary place are we going into? We won't get caught, right? According to Akechi Kun, our identities haven't been discovered yet. So we are just going to plunge headfirst into the enemy territory. Has anyone contacted Akechi? We're going to meet him there. Be on guard, everyone. We'll be heading to, into a lion's den. Yer. So this is the courthouse. You can tell it's a revolting building just by looking at it. Let's hurry up and get started. Akechi, what did you find out? I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. 
On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy, as well as the Sakura residence. For real? Then that means our time limit is November 20th. But this should be a substantially forced operation. I doubt it'll take place before the 20th. We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her palace. I concur. And we should probably get going soon. After all, people like us standing around here is quite unnatural. Well then? <gasps> That's... Huh? What about my smartphone? I'm so sorry. Until recently, Futaba was actually a... Uh, well... It's okay. Sai-san told me the gist. Oh, right. Uh, Akechi-kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, too. Not just me. That's true. Ooh! <sighs> I'll send everyone's contacts to you later. Thanks. <laughs> well then, I hope we get along. I'll do my best. Though our positions are somewhat different, Akechi will be joining us for the time being. I feel like my bond with Akechi has grown even deeper. And now we get something absolutely wild. We get Baton Pass, Follow Up, Detective Talk, and Harrison Recovery. Just All from right. rank 6. Personality and good looks? Talk about cheating. She's praising you, I believe. Then shall we get started? We need to figure out what Makoto's sis thinks this courthouse is, right? I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. A competition, huh? That sounds like Sai san. It'd be unbearable if you were put on trial for a reason like that. Although, a competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it be a martial arts ring? Conditions have not been met. Then, perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? Conditions have not been met. There are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Gambling, then! How about a racetrack for horses? Other than that, there's pachinko, but does that count as gambling? We played cards during the school trip. Conditions have not been met. What else is there? It must be a casino. Candidate found. I definitely see Sai San in you. <sighs> well, it's time we head in then. Head right past there and keep a low profile. <laughs> That's it, huh? What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. Courthouse is a casino. Everywhere else seems to be a normal cityscape. Isn't that... The police station, yes. I didn't know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Our attire hasn't changed. That must mean we aren't considered threats or hostiles yet. Right. 
Areas outside her courthouse palace must not be worthy of her attention. Wait, I always look like this. I'm special. Besides, I can't do anything in my cat form. The police station's also part of her work area, though. Whenever arrests are made for her cases. I've brought her food and belongings when she was sent on loan to the police. We got no business with the cops, right? This might be the metaverse, but I don't want to go in a station. That reminds me. He'll need a code name too. Code name? Phantom thieves can't go around using the real names, right? It ain't cool either. Just for reference, what is everyone else's? Skull. Mine's Fox. We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? What is it, Haru? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Then perhaps Karasu will be best for me. You know, like a raven. Are your clothes all black or something? The reverse, actually. If our code names are to hide our identities, wouldn't that be better? Karasu. He'd be the only Japanese sounding one. Why not go with Crow instead? All right. From here on out, you're Crow. Got it. Now then, let's head into the courthouse. Now First, this is business as usual. First off, we'll need to find an infiltration room. All right, let's go. Actually, let's get a whoops. Let's get a let's get Crow in here now. Uh, a catchy. Um, Makoto, you can stay out for now. That is fine. Let's get going. Hmm. Hey, we can't go in that way. We'll garner too far too much attention. Let's find another route. All right, I guess we're finding another route. Uh, this way. Ah, ha ha! I knew this was where we're supposed to go all along. I just uh, you gotta play along. I guess I can't run up the stairs. All right, <laughs> it wasn't working for me for some reason. Ooh, examine. Oh, nothing. Ah, oh, we can jump from here. I haven't been. It's been a while since I've been to this palace. All right, now we can head in here. Okay. Looks like we'll be able to sneak in from here. All right, let's do it. Hopefully this doesn't take too long because, oh, oh, so this means we acknowledge as a threat, correct? Dude, you're planning on stealing stuff in that getup? It just means we'll what? That's what he thinks a rebel looks like. Hmm. No, this is my mental image of a person who sticks to who sticks to the justice. Well, I think your mask is more apt for piercing rather than sticking. That aside, the people in here look completely normal. But we're in a flashy casino. There's no doubt this is a palace. Oh, right. Crow, does, Crow doesn't know too much about the cognitive be beings, does he? Ah, yes. In addition to similar top topography, cogn cognitive people exist based on their ruler's perceptions. That probably doesn't make much sense because of all the fancy terms he was using, huh? In essence, since those... Since, though, since these ones look for, like real people, sai -san's view of others are surprisingly undisordered. But considering what I see before me, it is difficult to believe it is not actually a real casino. Not all cognitions are normal, though. In Futaba and Akumaro's palaces, we had to battle them. People may look normal, but we should be careful, particularly those of positions of power. Is this what you have to go through every time? That's right. Hmm. This is a first for me. I am somewhat nervous. Hey. Just don't slow us down, Crow. Well, I will not allow that to happen. Okay, it's time we head inside. Our deadline is for this infiltration is November 20th. Any later and we'll get caught in reality. Of course, we'll need to secure an infiltration route before we can send out a calling card, as always. So the calling card wasn't merely for show. This is a necessary step. Will you please stop interrupting? <laughs> my, my apologies. Well then, let's go. Let's do it. Hopefully... Like I said, I'm hoping that we don't have to... I don't think... We have to act. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I guess we're doing it anyways. Um, I don't think we have to be in here that much. I don't even think we fight anyone. I could be wrong. That's how most of the palace stuff goes, you know? So I'm not too worried about it. Can I not? 
jump anywhere from here? It's just, okay. I guess I'll go this way. Because this way it looks like we can go, ha ha. Jump, jump now. Can we get over to this building or this door side? Oh, oh no, it looks locked. Um, hmm. Oh, no, wait, it won't open. Could it perhaps be blocked on the other side? We should probably look for another way in though, or way through, sorry. All right, well, I believe we have to go to this side then. Because that is the only place we haven't looked at. Ah, it's a vent. Press X to crawl. Hmm. Also, this song is an absolute bop. Welcome. Come on out, you petty thieves. She can see us? You're not after the treasure, are you not? Come down and I will tell you where it is. W what? We're not going to fall for a trick like that. Huh. It's not a lie. I only wish to do this fair and square. You aren't going to run, are you? We should do what she says. There's no point in hiding any longer. All right. Hello. So you've come. The treasure is located on the manager's floor at the highest point of this building. Why are you telling us this? It is as I said before. I wish to go about this in the fairest manner possible. First, I ask you to come, upon, come to my location. We will continue this there. Damn it, over there! It seems we'll be able to use that elevator to reach higher floors. Come, Joker, let's pursue her. Alright. I guess we got to pursue her. Let us go after her, Joker. Okay. Sounds good to me. Um, I think I saw something sparkling over here. I did! I did, in fact, see a sparkle. I don't know what that is. But, uh, well, let's, well, hold on. Let's just check it out. What does this do? I'm very curious. Uh, what was it? The, uh, Feng Chi? Oh! I'm gonna give that to, um, Futaba, actually. If I can. Yes, I can. Because it'll increase her luck even further. Uh, we'll equip, equip a catchy with some stuff, uh, later. Uh, can we get in? Is it right? Ah, oh, here it is. Author, author, authentication required. Please insert your member's card. Member's card? Perhaps it bears re relation to a player's club of sorts. I can't handle you with technical speak. Just give me it straight. Casinos typically have a membership system called a player's club. Some locations even have areas cored off to, for particular ranks of player. Considering the setup of this place, I thought things may be similar here. Don't make, th don't make this shit simple. Come on, let's join this player thingy. I would agree with you, but... A shadow? As I expected, registration will not be such a simple matter. She must be daring us to challenge the security of this place to make it to her. Here it comes! Oh my. No need to worry. I'll handle this. I'll prove... I need to prove my worth to you after all. I have high expectations. I promise to surpass even the lofty hopes as these, as those. Alright, well, I did not expect to get into a battle today. But you know what? That's fine. Show off uh, Akechi. Well then, let us begin. Don't worry. You can leave this one to me. Take them down, Robin Hood! Alright, let's go. So, Akechi actually uh, specializes in bless and curse magic. Um, and a little bit of physical and eventually healing too. But, I don't know what this is weak to. I'm assuming bless. Nope, just... just not that at least well we'll see we'll see what it's actually oh it looks like it resists that i don't know what that is oh rage hmm this presents a problem um we'll negative pile with our whatchamacallit oh we got a critical don't mind if i do don't mind if i do oh i forgot on can't be in this because she's technically raging yeah catchy you really showed your worth <laughs> we did all the work Hey, Makoto got to level up. New skill. Nuke break. Yeah, I don't care about nuke break, so... Sorry. 
You're not so bad. And I'm capable of much more. Now then, let us deal with the, the shadows quickly. Wait, doesn't it sound like we're going to be ambushed based on what we heard earlier? I agree. I'd like to deal with them as quick as we can. But now that we have an infiltration route, I suggest we return and now prepare. Very well. I trust your experience and judgment. Let's do that. Oh, I guess we're just leaving. Not even going to the safe room. Because spoilers, there's a safe room in this room. <sighs> we're just going to leave, I guess. Oh, and we're just back home. Alrighty. Today was truly one surprise after another. I hope we continue to thrive in our work together. Agreed. We will now explain the steps we take, though. That is unnecessary. First, we secure an infiltration route, then send a con card, correct? In doing so, the core of the ruler's distorted desires will manifest into a physical form. By taking that core, the change of heart will be triggered. I deduce these steps would be something along those lines. A plus. It ain't that easy. It ain't as easy as it sounds. Don't underestimate this shit. I'm not underestimating anything, I assure you. By the way, Nijima's son Shadow seemed really confident. Yes, there's no knowing what may await. Let's continue cautiously. Very well. You will let me. You will let me know when you enter the palace. Yes. Nah. <laughs> of course. Perfect. I'll be available at any time if you need me. That's enough for now. Let's prepare as well, well for the coming task. Ah yes. My apologies for somewhat de derailing the conversation. We'll be counting on you, Okechi. Failure is not an option here. Yes. I'll do my best to live up to all your expectations. The crucial moment is finally here. Let's give it all you got. Excellent. Well. If I can save here. All right. Oh, okay. This is a rare opportunity. Let's steal Nijima's heart. No, stop texting the things. Things are really sour. There's even bounty on you guys, but seriously, believe in Sam's these are insolent. By the way, I changed the survey question. Wow, it's already up in flames, though. It's a problem for me, too, if people don't think the Phantom Thieves are heroes. Just try and clear the stigma on your name as soon as you can, okay? I'm counting on you. So people are turning on us, even in his survey, our popularity really hit an all-time low. All right, well. That was a weird... I've never really seen that transit that little thing before. Either way, that doesn't matter. That was a great session. Very long session. I apologize. Uh, for me, it seemed very long. I don't think it actually turned out to be that long. But either way, that does not matter. In the next session, um, I haven't decided if we're going to do Nijima's Palace or we're going to do a little bit of extra stuff. Because we have all these confidants that are really close to getting rank 10. Um, well, Yusuke in particular. Um can't do anything about those well okay maybe Mishima <laughs> we got Mishima and Yusuke Makoto's pretty close too but either way um yeah I will we'll see how I'm feeling um I don't think size palace would actually take that long so we'll see um well like I said I'll decide what what we're gonna do then um so in the next part we'll be doing something we'll be playing Persona 5 how about that <laughs> so I'll see you guys then